Talk about how fall season's been going so far. You've already had two tournaments underway. How has your team looked? How has the team dynamic been? Uh, the team dynamic's great. I got 10 kids this year, which is a little more than I usually do. So uh, uh, it's kind of been something to try to get them all going together. But we've we've done a lot more qualifying than we usually do. So we're playing a lot more rounds. So I kind of divide the girls up where they get to know each other. And that's working out pretty good. You've got a pretty veteran roster. From what I could see, eight returners, two newcomers to the roster. What's it like working with a group that's as experienced as that? Do you find yourself coaching more or just kind of sitting back and letting them work through things? Actually, you know, with the three freshmen from last year, so they're sophomores, so we really have five that are kind of underclassmen, really. So um, it's kind of a mix of older and younger. There's like no real in the middle stuff. So that's going to be kind of unique. I've never really had that. But I think there's some pretty good leaders on the team. The seniors are helping uh, by demonstrating what, what it takes to really be good. Um, and to practice what, what's required to practice. So uh, when you come in as a freshman, you're probably not used to that kind of uh, maybe structure or that, that many long hours on the range. So uh, it's good to have them demonstrating that, what it takes. When you look at this most recent tournament, you all came out that first round tied for the tournament lead, tied for the team lead. What was your speech to the team after the first day? What did you talk to, uh, to them about that uh, yeah just about being in that position and how to carry through. Well, it's funny is we really didn't even hardly talk about it. So, uh, you know, it's pretty much a data point. You sink to your level of training. Golf is weird. You win when you don't think you should and you lose when you think you should win. Um, so when you try to put a little extra effort into golf, it just doesn't really seem to work out. Uh, you get too much adrenaline going. You got to stay calm, make smart decisions. Um, occasionally, you might have to do something different uh, to to win a tournament, but it, it would come down to just a putt or a shot on the last hole, not typically the whole round. So the girls were really calm. Uh, it just didn't really work out. Um, but God, two of them that were playing were it was their first tournament as a collegiate. So uh, you know that's interesting. And then Brianna, you know, shot even par. Uh, the second day and the first day she had a really bad score in one hole or she would have been right up there among the leaders. So um, it kind of shakes out where, wherever it should be. Yeah. You talk about two players playing their first collegiate tournament. Fall is kind of that time that you get that opportunity to see what they can do on the course. Championship schedule is in the spring. What are you working with with your team? What are you having them work with on the course, practice on the course yeah. to get ready for the rest of the fall and looking ahead. That's a good point, Seth. We we really scheduled some great courses in the fall. So we're going to play the Highlands and the Merritt Club the next two weeks, which uh, the Merritt Club was where they had a U.S. Open. Um, a very difficult course, very fast greens, tall rough. Same with the Highlands. They had tall rough. The last course we played was a Donald Ross design, real small greens, real difficult things that we don't really see maybe in this area. So we play different architects, which teaches them shots that they've never experienced before. So in the fall, that's where we really concentrate our efforts on that stuff. Um, so they can, you know, you can't just go to the conference championship or NCAA tournament and, and suddenly know how to hit a shot that you've never seen before. So um, we try to mix it up with some of those courses and, and use that situation for their, for their learning experience. You're back in action this weekend, and I know that you're going through qualifying right now. What are some of the characteristics that you look for when you look for who you're going to take with you to a tournament? That's a good one, yeah. Um, you know, honestly, the biggest challenge is, is calmness, and we talk about that. Uh, and you're only going to be calm on the golf course if you've taken care of your stuff off the golf course. So if you're calm coming in, if you got your, your studies done, if you're doing your reading and and uh, are making your best efforts to organize yourself uh, before you get here, be on time, be ready to go, get some sleep, all that stuff. Um, so when you're looking for people to go, usually it shakes out that the people that followed through with those commitments end up playing. And uh, because they're all tight enough in skill level, uh, that, that's kind of how it shakes out. So it, it's kind of fascinating. I'm just letting it shake out wherever it, wherever it may, you know? This is the first real time that we've had a chance to talk with you since spring. Really. Yeah. Uh, 
what were you up to over the summer? What were the girls up to over the summer? How did you see them progress when they came back uh, to get ready for this year? In fairness, I don't think they progressed very well in the, in the summer, and they know it when they got here. They weren't really quite ready. So that's why we struggled in our first tournament. That's why I held them accountable to, to their level of, uh, of practice in the summer. Um, it's not always necessarily their fault. Uh, a lot of them, they have to work and do things like that or take summer class or whatever. So it's difficult to travel and play a lot of golf tournaments. Um, you can work on your game at your home course, but it's not quite the same as actually getting out and experiencing, uh, you know, having a, uh, hit shots under the gun.